Good morning, everybody. Today is October 31st, the last day episode of the Spooky Season Diaries. It has been such a insane week for me. I've been learning a lot of lessons this week. It's just been like an adulting week. I literally haven't vlogged. Like I said, today's gonna just be a day in the life vlog because a lot's been like going on and I just haven't vlogged this week. But good morning, today is 8.07 on Halloween, October 31st. Basically to catch you guys up to par, Monday. I don't even remember what I did Sunday, but I don't think I did much, I think I was just home. Yes, Monday morning I woke up early, we went to the gym. I will say I've been work working out more this week, so that's been good. We went to the gym. And then we went to a class. I'm a hairstylist, for those of you who don't know. My class was 10 to 1. I had an hour like break, so me and my girls went out for like tacos. And then after we went out for tacos, we went back to the salon, worked 2 to 8. I go outside, my car doesn't start. And if you guys are keeping up with the spooky season vlogs, you know that I had a rental half the month of October. I was extremely frustrated because I had a couple lights like random lights come on on my car so I was like I'm not we're not about to do this so I bring it to the shop I got my car from I didn't get it from this car brand's dealership I got it from another dealership somebody traded this in at the dealership I just am not disclosing what car I drive like you guys might have seen it throughout like in TikToks and stuff but just for safety reasons because after the Kia boys got me last time I just realized I posted like you guys knew what car I drove. I'm just trying to live a more private life in that aspect. But basically, yeah, this car was a trading at a different dealership. I got this car with 11,000 miles. She was like almost brand new. I brought it there earlier this month and I'm like, there are a bunch of lights are coming on. It said my coolant was high. The transmission light came on, like a bunch of random things. Like my girl was not, she was not doing well. And they're like, yeah, like we'll bring it. So they brought it over to my car's dealership, like where they actually work on this brand of cars. And I get a rental all as well in the world. I don't have my car for three weeks, okay? How many weeks are there in October? Maybe like almost five, if you put them all together. And they're like, yeah, nothing's wrong with your car. Like, you're good. And I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> but I think something's wrong with my car. Like, I drive my car every day, like I know, you know? Basically, my car didn't start. I had to get a new battery for my car. My mom picked me up. We left my car at the salon overnight. It was a whole thing. I was so frustrated. Like, I had a lot of migraines this week. I was just, I just been stressed out. I just feel like it was like teaching me lessons, like law of detachment I've been working on. And just like really appreciating what I have because we really don't appreciate things till they're gone. And like, boom, I don't have a car now. Like my freedom is stripped away from me, you know? Like I don't, I am a person that practices a lot of gratitude, but I truly don't realize the value of something until I don't have it, you know? And I'm like, oh wow, like I really love that skincare product or wow, like I really could use my car right now. My mom stood on business and I was, she's like, yeah, you're gonna call this person, this person, this person. We're gonna get this figured out. Like this isn't fair because you had your car in the shop for three weeks and they said nothing's wrong. Shout out mom, I know you're watching this. Then she takes the phone out of my hand and she's like, this isn't right, da da da. Ashley sit on business guys so the lady's like we'll get your car towed to our shop yada yada and I got my basically I didn't have my car for a day this week so I was just highly stressed out and then Tuesday my first day off where I usually vlog it was just not a good day I was crying I just was like so overwhelmed we do have the car back today today's day one with my car and she is good as new I feel like I just got the car off the dealership again and I had to get a new battery for my car and that was like some real adulting stuff right there because on my old car all I had to get changed were like tires the brakes I'd have to do oil changes but I haven't had to do like any like crazy crazy things yet Tuesday my mom left me her car for the day we voted this week make sure y'all vote this will be up in time for election day your vote matters I don't really talk politics or like any like serious like like topics like that on my channel but i do want you guys to know like you should be using your voice like it's very important this election is very important and i'm gonna leave it at that but i was so excited because it was my first time voting so i'm having the worst day ever i'm like fuck it like a medical vote today let's let's vote early this year you know what they say when you're doing bad do something good for somebody so that's what i'm gonna do 
have no clue where I'm going, but I'm gonna figure this out. Go there and she looked, she's like, ID, and I give it to her. She's like, is this your first time voting? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, we got a first time voter. And like starts like yelling and then like everybody's like clapping and cheering and stuff. So that was really sweet. So I voted, went to Target, just ran a couple errands, put gas in my mom's car for her. And then I was home for the day. Yesterday was Wednesday and I just worked, went to the gym again. We've been working out like daily this week which was beautiful. Went to the gym with Liz. We ran some errands, came home, talked to my grandpa on the phone for an hour, and then showered to watch the Love is Blind reunion. Plans for today, we are headed to a coffee shop. I'm going to the Bee's Knees. I think I talked about it in my last vlog. Just really, really nice. They have really, really good coffee. I haven't been to a coffee shop in a minute, so I'm excited to go there. I brought my book, I brought my journal. I got my little tote bag this morning. And we're just gonna sit. They have outdoor seating, and it's kind of like cool outside, but it'll be nice. <laughs> short sleeve shirt because it's supposed to be like almost 80 degrees today i don't know what's going on after breakfast i went and vacuumed my car i went to the car wash i feel so good like now that i got my car back i'm like all right this was a big lesson for me to appreciate what i have and take care of what i have I take a lot of pride in my bedroom so and my car is never even dirty but it's just like I would always look at it like, oh yeah, it's just my car, but like that's my car that I work hard for and pay for every month. You know, I should take better care of it. Show her off a little more, make her a little shiny. So that's what I did. And then we went to Target. I got a new notebook because we've been doing a lot of classes at work and I lost my other notebook. I always like to bring a notebook to class to take notes. This set of markers because I ordered the TikTok shop coloring book one of the many ones that are trendy right now. This is the one that I got and it came in yesterday and my markers aren't gonna be here till like November, but like I wanna use it today and like I'll use the markers. So, and they're only three bucks. So I'm like, I'll use them. So it's not gonna be a waste. So we're gonna do some coloring today. I'm so excited. I wanted one so bad. I was gonna put it on my Christmas list, but then they were on sale. Like this was like $4. Of course I got it. And then if you're wondering why my finger is wrapped up, I got one of those, you know, those cans, it's like scented and you can put it in your car. I like those. One of my friends had them. I thought it was pretty cool. So I went to pop the can, but like I always like pop it. I don't take the top part off. I think you're supposed to take it off. So I went to take it off and it's like a can. So like I sliced my finger open. <laughs> so, and we don't have band-aids. So we're doing this like old school right now. I've been inside for a little bit. It's still bleeding, but you know, it's been a great day so far. Feel very good, feeling very grounded today. Target had a lot of wintery, Christmassy stuff out. I'm so excited, like tomorrow's really November 1st. That's so crazy to me. Very exciting time of year. Um, I'm gonna do some laundry. I have a lot of laundry to do. This is my basket of laundry. It's never overflowed like this. Like a lot of it is like towels and hoodies and jackets. So that's why it's a little excessive but we do have to get that clean today so we're gonna do some laundry and then i have to finish the love is blind reunion i started to fall asleep watching it because it was like an hour and 40 minutes i have like 20 minutes left so after i do that i'm going to color and watch the reunion hey y'all it has been a little bit I did change my shirt again because i just don't like tight shirts anymore no you know what the thing is i don't like cropped shirts i figured that out it's not very like, it's not the vibe. But it's one o'clock now. My laundry is now in the dryer. I did color for a little bit. Finished the reunion, crazy. So I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Around four, I'm gonna go to my uncle's barber shop and just catch up with him. We've been meaning to like get together and catch up and I just look up to him in a lot of ways. So I wanted to kind of just talk to him about a couple of things. And then we're passing out candy later. That's all that I'm really doing now. 
I'm just gonna start editing this vlog and then I'll update you guys later. But I think I'm gonna try to get a new camera for Christmas. Yo, this is so cool.